Good evening, everyone. I'm Mark Ducharme. I'll call your play-by-play -play as we get ready for homecoming for the Maroons. As they get ready to host the Marshfield team, that is 6-1-1 one, one on the season. The Maroons 7-1 coming off a very impressive victory over Hingham, 46-7. The Maroons take on a Marshfield team that comes off a 23-0 win over Hyde Park as the Rams have had some success this year in winning games in the final moments. Last year, if you were with us for football action, Marshfield came from behind to defeat Weymouth North 15-14 at Anderson Field in Marshfield. So the Maroons will be looking for a little revenge. And prior to the game, I talked to Weymouth North coach Joe Kelly, and I asked him if that is on the mind of his team as far as this week goes, the matter of revenge. Oh, we'll mention it once or twice, but uh, it's, uh, it's be a heck of a football game. They're a good football team, and uh, they're coming in with a 6-1-1 one, one record. Uh, and we're on a course for 9-1, and one, so, uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a game uh, not so much revenge as it is that uh, we have to play well. Talk about the past few weeks. You get 40-plus points in each of the past few weeks. I mean, did you ever dream before the season you'd have, like, stretches like this? I always hope for them, but, uh, you know, it, it just happens that our offensive line has just got better and better in the last uh, five or six weeks, and we're knocking people down, and uh, we have some very talented backs. So um, we're scoring a lot of points. It, it's not surprising now that we're doing it because I think we're doing it on uh, good hard blocking and uh, good hard running. So it's, it is a surprise that we're scoring a lot of points, but uh, it's not a surprise the way the kids are playing right now. Let's take a look at Marshfield. They come in, as you said, 6-1-1. One, one. They're a team that uh, basically has done it with late-game heroics. After a while, does something like that catch up? I don't know. I really, you know, we've scouted them three times, and uh, the thing that uh, the young club, and they, they're going to be an awfully, awfully good football team next year, and this year they're really, uh, I think, have surprised everyone, including their coach. They're talented, they believe in themselves, and they score, they score a lot of points. Um, they, they really don't surprise me. Uh, he said at the beginning of the year he thought he had a, a club that was going to get better. They've got better, and uh, uh, we really have to play well to, to stay with them. What are the key things to play well against this Marshfield club? Well, we've got to be penalty free. We're, we're, quite, we're making a lot of penalties. Uh, we work hard, we get downfield, we try very hard to throw blocks, and oftentimes we get caught for clipping, uh, and they're, they're good aggressive penalties, but we cannot continue to get 10, 11, 12 penalties a game and, and expect to beat Marshfield. About set to start here at Legion Field as the Maroons won the toss and will defer it to the second half as far as what they want to do. And Tim Stevenson gets set to kick off. Back deep for the Rams of Marshfield will be Mike Manning and Jeff Botello off-camera view as Stevenson and the Maroons looking to improve to 8-1 and one, heading into the Thanksgiving Day showdown with Weymouth South. As pull up a chair, this is going to be a very good football game. Two very good football teams about to go at it. And Stevenson with a high kick. It is Manning trying to turn it towards the near sideline, and Manning gets it out to about the 28-yard line where down by Sean, Sean Small, Small brings him down. And the Marshfield offense. The Marshfield Sophomore the quarterback, Steve Ruiz. And a young backfield with Mike Manning, only a junior, Brian Thomas, also a junior as apparently we had a marker being discussed with Steve White by our official Frank Niles. Weather-wise, a breeze that gust off and on. Offsides, Weymouth North refused, and the Rams will take the football. They had an offside penalty called against Weymouth North. At that spot in the field. formation. Hugus, the deep back in that power eye for the Rams. And a fumble football on the snap. Weymouth North says they got the it in two. Right. 
I believe Sean Small fell on the football. He came up, pumped up and ready in the Maroon offense, which has been explosive in the last two weeks. 46 points a week ago against Kingham, and before that, 48 against Quincy. And they get great field position to start off their first possession. Check Montorio works his way for three to the 26 yard line as Chuck Matt Delaney is brought down by Brooks Matt Delaney. The tackle, gain of two, and the Ram defense. To go People such as Steve down. White, Frank Boney, Sean Boney, can also add Doug Cushman, all fine football players. They have had a good season. Maraz sweep. Rich turns the corner, hurdles his way down yeah, to about the 19. And should have a first down as Manning Good brings right. him down along with White. Jeff Ebby. But Rich Maraz, who is named Channel 5's high first five down. athlete of the week. And a feature that everybody in oh, the Raymond area has really enjoyed who saw it. As Mirage and Montorio, it's Montorio pushing Montorio his way for two. Brought down by Matt Delaney. Eddie Brooks made the tackle. Gaining Montorio the gaining one. Second, Second down and nine for the Maroons, who get the football in great field position after a fumble on the first play by the Rams. Henriksen stood up at about the 13 as Lou just ducked the head down and ran into Keith McCarry. Along with 64, Steve White, as both of them were there. But Henriksen pushed his way for about four, third and five for the Maroons at the 13. Ball on the 24. Mirage sweep, cuts back. Rich spins Mirage inside the 10 carry. to about the eight. Brought down by Boney. As Sean Boney made the tackle. Yeah. But Mirage very close to a first down. In fact, Brought does down. have it. So Rich Mirage has been able to get the Maroons first down yardage twice so far in this first possession. We played two minutes and 11 seconds so first far. And nine. And the Maroons with the first opportunity, first and goal. Toss, Montorio gets control. Chuck gets sliced at the five as Chuck looked like he was going to turn the corner, but Frank Boney knocked his legs from underneath him as Montorio got it to the about, they'll say the five yard line, four yards on the play, second and goal. As Montorio had trouble with the pitch, trying to maintain possession, but Chuck able to get control. Mirage gets away from Cushman and scores! Mirage goes into the score. Rich Mirage on the sweep. Just turned the corner and cut back away from Doug Cushman and the Maroons. Score first with 6.56 to go here in the opening quarter. Stevenson, perfect on the extra point. Verizon and Stevenson put the Maroons out in front. 7-0 with 6.56 to go here in the opening quarter. The Maroon drive after the fumble recovery by Sean Small as they get on the board with a Rich Maraz. Touchdown run as the leading scorer in Division II. Finds his way into the end zone on a five-yard run. Manning and Botello back deep to receive the kickoff. As Mike Manning, Jeff Botello back deep for the Rams. D-I-B-C-O-R-Y, 
Seven nothing, Weymouth North. And they're about to kick off to Marshfield. And Stevenson, as it bounce, trying to reverse field, and he is caught. Back at the three yard line was Luke Short. He just could not Luke get his boarding. And Matt Deedy led a group of Maroons down to Popham, and there's a flag back up field at about the 20 yard line of Marshfield. As Weymouth North, good special teams coverage after short bobble of football and could not rewrite himself. And let's see who the flag is on. Personal foul, face mask, Weymouth North. Face mask penalty, Carlos. So the Rams get a break. Instead of having the football at the three, they will instead get it at the 18 as the Maroons guilty of the face mask. And the Weymouth North defense, which only was on the field for one play, which has had a spectacular season. The linebackers, Alex Provost, Lou Hendrickson, leading in tackles. And a defense which has forced 33 turnovers. Ruisi gives off to Thomas. And Thomas just stood up at the line of scrimmage. Second down and nine for the Rams. Ronnie on the carry. I say that was Sean. Gain of Boney. about a yard. It'll be second That's and nine. That's Boney, the up back for the Rams in their power eye formation. Ball is on the 21 yard line. As Boney and Hugus, the backs for the Rams behind Ruisi. Option, Manning tries to turn it outside. And Moraz is there to knock him out of bounds after about a yard by gain. Mo pushed out of bounds by Moraz. As Rich cut off Mike Manning, who tried to turn the corner and could not, third and eight. Steve Ruisi had a good day against Weymouth South. A couple of long touchdown plays. One long touchdown to Sean Boney and one pass of 65 yards also to Boney to set up a touchdown. Ruisi, guess gets away from Ferrara. Hugus trying to turn the corner and will not because Eddie Norton came up from his Two linebacker zero. position and made the stop. Brings up a fourth down. As Ruisi just got away from Ferrara and then all of a sudden got the ball away on the pitch and Eddie Norton came from nowhere to make the tackle. <laughs> and the Rams will be punting as they're taking a great deal of time, and that'd be Luke Short to do the kicking and delay of game, Marshfield. Well, we have a delay of game called against Marshfield. So Short who would have been delivering the punt at about the 12, will be delivering it inside his own 10 when he catches the football as Luke moves back to about the five. And Short just hits it short, literally. No pun intended because he just hit a pop-up that will roll dead at the 30. Dave Fahey put his hands on the football at the 30. But Luke Short just got under it. And with the breeze that the cuts, will take over first and 10 at times, on the it got a hold of it. And the Maroons, once again, at the Ram 30, go, go. leading 7 0. Go, go, go. 
Mraz straight ahead. Mraz on the carry. Gains about two. Where's Steve White? Stopped him. Steve White in on the first ones to hit him. Gain of two, second and eight. As you hear the public address voice of Bill Jackson in the background tell you second and eight. From about the 27 yard line. Montorio is the only back as Stevenson will run. Timmy tucks the ball away at the 22 with a marker Stevenson down. The we have a flag the illegal play. procedure on the Maroons. Sean Barney made the tackle. And the motion penalty on Weymouth North will nullify the Stevenson run of four Two yards. Illegal procedure call against North. As the Rams will probably take the penalty, make it second and 12 to go. If there's one thing that the Maroons have done wrong in the second past few weeks, it has been the penalty situation. Something that has concerned Coach Joe Kelly, but as he's phrased it, it's just been good aggressive penalties. As Stevenson from Mraz, and Mraz can't Mraz. hang on. It'll bring up a Ed third Brooks down. on the coverage. Two forty-seven to go, opening quarter, seven nothing Weymouth North. They took advantage of a fumble recovery and came. March down from 30 yards to score. And that is the only touchdown we have had so far. <laughs> Stevenson being chased by Short. Stevenson corralled by Short and brought down at the 29. Jimmy Stevenson brought down by Luke Short. Stevenson thought he was going to get away from Short. Could not. As Short caught up, and also Luke at six foot three, having that good reach, was able to bring down the Maroon fourth quarterback. And, and a fourth and ten situation from the 30, and Weymouth North will take a timeout. Timeout, Weymouth. The Maroons will talk about the play on fourth and ten when we come back, leading seven nothing. Weymouth News photographer Lee Griffin capturing some of the action. And fourth and ten for the Maroons from the 30. Stevenson with time. Floats it deep. It's up in the air and a smart play by Sean Boney. Pass goes incomplete. Marshall will take over first. Boney with a very smart play because that ball was tipped up in the air and he was the closest one to it. And Boney, if he well, picked it off, would not have had the field line. position for the Rams that they would have liked. But the Rams will start at their 30-yard line as they have held. Straight ahead, Boney, very little. On the carry. Alex Provost and Chris Ferrara bring him down the linebacker and defensive end of there. Provost made the tackle. For no gain, second down. Gain of about a foot. And 10. Second down. Rams so far have gone to the ground against this wind. Ruisi, pitch back Manning, gets away from Manning on the carry. Danny Daly, but can't get away from Alex Provost. Provost made the grab. As Provost along Gain with Dean. 
Third down nine. Manning, third down and nine. As we go under a minute here in the first quarter. And the sun peeking in and out so far on a very Novemberish afternoon. Ruiz's first pass, Ferrara almost getting him. And Boney with the reception, but was he in bounds? Frank Boney was in bounds at the Maroon 39. About a 25 yard pass. The pass a deep the pass. To the Weymouth North, 39 and yards. And Boney got Here's behind Perez and made the reception for the first down. So the Rams' first first down comes with 34 seconds to go in the opening period. Straight ahead on the dive goes Hugus. As he gains about one. Second and nine. As the Rams with their one pass play get big yardage on their running plays, they have not got the yardage. As we may have time for a more play here in this first quarter. Eight seconds and counting. And I doubt we'll have the first quarter completed and with the another play. The first quarter. So far, a 30-yard drive by the Maroons after recovering a fumble has got them on top by the score of 7 nothing after a quarter of play. As the Rams will have the football in Weymouth North Territory when we start the second quarter. <laughs> They will have the wind at their backs here in the second quarter. Ruisi cuts back inside and slices off about three yards. As Darren Gladstone came up and made the tackle, preventing Ruisi from turning the corner. It'll be third and about six for the Rams. And a reminder, our Good next six. football game will be Weymouth North, Weymouth South Thanksgiving Day game. And if you want tickets North. for that Thanksgiving Day football game here at Legion Field, they will go on sale beginning Monday, November 20th, Tuesday, November 21st, Wednesday morning, November 22nd. General admission, $3 on sale at both North and South High School, East and South Junior High School, as day of game tickets will be $4, and that day, Chad Street Gate behind the press box will be open as Ruizzi. Nobody to throw it to, and Eddie Norton just collects. Stop dead by Ed Norton. As Ruizzi Last went to play. run the option, and Eddie Norton was able to come in and make the tackle on Ruizzi because Steve had nobody to throw the ball, pitch off the ball to. And it'll be fourth and ten. And Luke Short to punt. Short back for the kick. Mraz and Henriksen to receive. And Short rides out a high kick. That will roll dead at the 10 yard line. And the ball is gonna be put in play on the 10 yard line. And the Maroons with their worst field position so far thrown 10 after starting at the Marshfield 30 twice in the first quarter. So if you want, a reminder once again, if you're looking for tickets for the Thanksgiving Day football game, they'll go on sale Monday, November 20th, November 21st and 22nd at both North and South High School, East and South Junior High, and the Chad Street Gate will also be open that day, so it's easy to come in and watch good football action. Esther Zarin, before he starts running the football, will have the play blown dead because of an illegal procedure penalty on the Maroons. So it'll be first and 15. And 
down with the field position that the Maroons have. They do not want to start making mistakes. Hendrickson on the dive gets about five yards. On the carry. As Lou is knocked down by Keith DePerry. Right, a little breathing John room. Barney made the tackle. For Weymouth North, second down and 10. Pick up the five yards on the play, it'll be second and 10. And we'll tell you down on the 10 yard line. We're hoping to have the Weymouth South Bridgewater Raynham highlights for you. Mraz straight ahead, gets about six. Luke Short. Ed Brooks made the stop. Along with Eddie Brooks. Uh, they had to make the stop on Mraz. And Rich gets up. Mraz on the carry. Apparently twisting an ankle. Gain of six, it'll be third and four. As Rich. A little bit shaken up. On the play. Darren Gladstone turns the corner. Darren will be close to first down yardage. Chuck Montorio was trying to block out Keith the Perry. Perry had some help from Bonnie, but Gladstone did pick up the first down just at the 20 yard first line. Down. As Darren, the sophomore running back in safety, gets the Maroons a first down. Ball advances to the 20 yard line. First and 10. Henriksen, dive play, just gets a yard. Henriksen on the carry. To Perry. And White bottle left the hole and break down. Cushman made the tackle. Hendrickson, second and nine. And below us, second I can't down, review. To go. Rich Moraz having his ankle taped. Strazeri trying to turn the corner. Strazeri gets it out to about the 29. Gladstone. Gave him a good block Cushman to get him out and there. On the tackle on Mr. Struzieri. But White and Cushman bring down Struzieri after a gain of about eight. Third and, two. and about a yard and a half for a first down. And so far, both teams, and going from right to left against the wind, have decided to just keep the ball on the ground for the most part. And Stevenson doesn't like the North. formation or the defense that the Rams are in. He'll take a timeout. Folks, we'd like to remind you that the uh, annual Weymouth right now, North Weymouth It is 7 0 Weymouth banquet. North, but the Maroons have a coming up this third Friday night. and a yard and a half coming up when we come back. It's going to be held at South High School. For the Maroons, third and a yard and a half to go. As you saw when we went out, the retaping of Rich Moraz's ankle. Darren Gladstone the play. breaks through as a marker goes down, whistles blue before the play began, and maybe a legal procedure away at North. Darren Gladstone carries the ball. Procedure. John Barney made the tackle, but Weymouth we have North. a procedure call against Weymouth North. And the Maroons will have the first down wiped out. It'll bring up the fourth down and seven yards for the first down. As Weymouth North is the penalties once again. Stevenson. Stevenson on the keeper. Can't run the option because Boney. Brought down by Dougie Cushman. And Doug Cushman are game. there. It'll bring up the fourth down. Along with Dave Fahey, they made sure that Stevenson was not going to turn the corner. And the Maroons will be punting on fourth down. Stevenson.
Stevenson will have to run because Cushman came in. He'll get the first down and more. Stevenson on the keep. Doug like Cushman for the first down and came time. straight up the middle and had an opportunity to grab Timmy Stevenson, but Stevenson alertly did not try to kick the football. He dodged the ball up to the Cushman yard line. First and, ten right and rumbles north. for a first down out to the 41. So the Maroon quarterback, who was stopped on a third and six situation, comes up with a first down run. And Stevenson, who averages nearly seven yards a carry, Sliced off 16 on that run. Stevenson gets it away from pressure. Montorio well, we have a flag on the right play. down at the 40. And Passes a marker down. Montorio, but let's see what the flag is. As Chuck Montorio with the reception, illegal motion, Weymouth North. And well, the we Maroons have a procedure call against Weymouth North. Put themselves once again. And a timeout. And they will uh, take a timeout as Coach Joe Kelly will talk to his team about the penalties so far here in this first half, which has 450 remaining, and the Maroons on top, 7-0. Penalties have hurt Weymouth North so far. They have moved the ball and they have shot themselves in the foot with penalties. As that 20-yard pass completion from Stevenson to Montorio wiped out. And they'll try the bootleg pass again as Stevenson away from pressure deep. Almost caught Danny Lindblom and Eddie Norton on the rebound yeah, almost so ended up with the football. Frank Boney also had an opportunity as well. But good pressure from Matt Delaney for Stevenson the throw just a little bit sooner than he wanted to. Second and 15. Second and 15. Stevenson floats one out for Mraz. And it was a little bit dangerous on the throw as Pass Frank Boney was Mirage, closing very quickly. Third down. Stevenson felt Mirage should be turning it upfield. And the miscommunication between the two could have been disastrous if Boney was able to close a little faster. He would have had an opportunity to pick the ball off, head the other way. Third and 15, you'll look back to that pass completion to Montorio. Instead of having it in Marshfield territory and keeping the drive going, the Maroons get to come up with a big play here. And they that don't. Was incomplete to Lindblom. Danny Lindblom, the intended receiver. Up the fourth down. But he was double teamed on the play. It's Mark Picard on the coverage, along with Eddie Brooks. And Stevenson threw the ball away from both of them. And Stevenson, who faced pressure the first time, he tried to punt the football from Doug Cushman and got away from it and ran for a first down. And this time he just rides out a high kick. Fair catch, Manning at the 35. Like the ball will be started on and the Rams will have it at their 35 line. with 421 to go here in the first half. Seven nothing, Weymouth North. Rich Morales's five yard touchdown run. That's it. Ruisi. Ruisi deep. Manning. Incomplete. Yes, intended for Manning goes incomplete. And Darren Gladstone going back may have gotten a break because Gladstone threw up the hands. He wasn't sure where the ball was. And it could have been considered that Gladstone 
Could have been cloud for interference, throwing up the hands the way he did and not going after the football. Instead, it'll be a second and 10. As Ruiz, he stepped away from Teddy Keefe. Ruisi gets it away. Intercepted, Eddie Norton. Looking for the blocking, and Norton all the way to the Ram 31. On the interception. Run out of bounds by Steve Berufi. As Eddie Norton dropped back and made the interception, and the Maroons with excellent field position. A key that interception was the excellent pressure turn. with and Matt Deedy and John Tortellione putting on great pressure up the middle, and they forced Ruisi to fire the ball deep. As we wait for a new football. Apparently wiping off the football. The football had not been dried sufficiently because of the rains of the past week or so. So the Maroons the cash in on one Marshfield turnover. Go to the ground and Mraz getting it to the 30. Mraz on the carry. Dave Fahey. Mike Negro made the tackle. Made the stop on Mirage. This Mirage looked like he was turning the corner. Gain of one will make it second and nine. 3.35 left in the first half. 7 0 Weymouth North, and they have a second and nine. From the 31. Mirage on the counter. Mirage, Mirage on the cutback. Gets it to the 26. Fahey got him from behind. Dave Fahey made the tackle. And the Maroons facing a third and about four situation. Third and three. As the breeze which swirls here at Legion Field, gusting to the far side of the field. Henriksen will try to get the first down and be stopped short. As Henriksen got it to about the 24 as he was stood up by Matt Delaney. Doug Cushman made the tackle. Short yardage. Fourth down. Brings up a fourth down. And about a yard and a half. About as Henriksen split the, the difference down. on that run. And the Maroons definitely going for it. Mraz, it will be close. Mraz on the carry. Keith the parry. Let it group of Rams stop. making the stop. And they will measure. No, they will not. They will say that Marshfield Marshall stopped Hall. Weymouth North. And we'll turn the ball over to them. As the Rams come up with a defensive stop, Mraz Slowed down nicely by DePerry, and then he was put down. And the Maroons, after the Norton interception, do not get to be able to cash in because the Ram defense is able to stop them. Bottled up, trying to run the option, gets away for just a second, and be dropped by Keith and Tortellione, uh, along with Alex Provost. Ramos made the tackle. No gain on the play. Second ten down and ten. and ten. And Weymouth North will spend the timeout with 143 left, leading 7-0. Look at the Rams' sideline. 
as they are faced with a second and 10. A lot of long counts so far by Steve Ruisi. Who will throw. Boney dropped immediately by Daly on the out pattern. Boney. As Boney dropped at the 32. He'll be about a yard short. As Boney has to make it just past the 33. Apparently that is where he did make it. First down, Rams. First down. As Danny Daly in for David Layton with the tackle. One twenty and counting in the first half. Ruisi, complete over the middle to Mark Picard. Picard. In the reception. As Picard caught it in front of Montorio. And a first and ten for the Rams a with a minute half. to go. Minute left to play. And the Rams not using the timeout. As they have with the wind at their back, open up the offense a little more. And Ruiz has responded. Hugis couldn't get away from Capello. On the carry. As down Hugis by Jason Capello. tried to cut Very back, and Jason inning. Capello brought him down. And timeout, Marshfield. Timeout, Marshfield. 7 0, 32 seconds to go in the first half. Weymouth North and Marshfield with the Maroons leading. Opening half. 7-0, Weymouth North, the Rams face second and ten. with a second seconds left on the clock. and 10 situation as Hugis did not gain anything as Ruisi sets up the screen. Spinning away for a couple of extra yards will be Sean Boney. On Barney on the carry. As Boney got away play. and a marker down and could add on 15 more for a late hit or a face mask. And Weymouth North once again with mistakes and the penalties. And it will be a personal foul 15 yard face mask penalty. And the Rams will spend the timeout with 20 seconds to go here in the first half as they have it down to the 29. And a face mask penalty helping out the drive. This what would have been about a five, six yard gain turned into just about 20 yards because of the face mask penalty. And Ruisi going deep. Almost a great catch by Mark Picard. Or check it, Luke that Short. Is incomplete to Luke Short. Luke Short with a couple of inches on Jason Capello, almost came up with a circus catch. And it'll be second and 10 with 14 seconds to go in the half. And we hope to have Weymouth South, Bridgewater Raynham highlights for you at the break. And second half action as well. Keith puts the pressure on, Ruisi over the middle. Fumble football and Lou Henriksen recovers. As the pass complete to Luke Short, but he got hit right on the football and Lou Henriksen falls on in Weymouth North. Stops a potential Marshfield touchdown drive. 
With five seconds left to play in the half. Yes, it was a tough break for sure. He was just hit right on the football. And Hendrickson with the recovery. And the Maroons will probably put the knee down and get ready for the second half. Strasseri on the option. Keith gets twisted and turned down by Steve White. Strasseri on the carry. Half comes to an end. Brought Wayman North took right. advantage of a fumble recovery and it turned into a Rich Mirage five yard right touchdown to run. And that is the net. At the break. Thing moving that would take them into the second quarter, some momentum. But what happens to Weymouth South? is disaster in the second quarter. Chella, bootleg left, trying to turn it upfield, gets the ball popped out and recovered by Bridgewater Raynham's Mike Donovan. From here, the Trojans go to work as Peter McLaughlin hits a wide open Greg Burstein. And Burstein will take it all the way to the Wildcat 15 yard line. From there, Govea will finish off the drive with his third touchdown of the day, straight up the middle, seven yards in all. And BR up to a 20 to nothing halftime lead and a lot to cheer about for the Trojans and their fans. As in the second half, they will keep it going. Jason Zutat finds his way into the end zone with the chase extra point, 27 to nothing. BR will have the lead. Heading into the fourth quarter with Wildcats just Hey, it's not our day. As Peter McLaughlin will score on this quarterback sneak. As the Trojans please their coach quite nicely. 33-0 lead about the only good things for the Wildcats in this game. Well, Keith Williams on this very nice run of 20 yards. But it was too little as far as this game went, as you could sort of say that this belonged to the Wildcats. They could strike up the band to a 33-0 victory over Weymouth South as the Wildcats fall to 1-8 on the season. Stay tuned for second half action between Weymouth North and Marshfield. Can review Rich Mirage, Keith Strasseri, and Chuck Montorio. 7-0, Weymouth North with the lead. Rich Mirage's five-yard touchdown run, the only score in this game. And McDonough, a high kick. Montorio. Chuck Montorio on the run back. Pinballs his way out to about the 34, and that's where Weymouth North will start. Luke Shot made the tackle. And a reminder. And Weymouth North will take over. Take a look at concern. the Weymouth North huddle. And the, the Thanksgiving Day football line. game. Tickets will go on sale Monday, November 20th, Tuesday, November 21st, and Wednesday morning, November 22nd, at all high schools and junior high schools. As Stevenson, Stevenson gets tripped up by short. Tripped up by short. After about a five-yard gain. As Stevenson, they'll say, got it to the 37 second and seven. But both junior high schools and both high schools will have the tickets on sale. $3 general admission, $4 day of game tickets. And the Charge Street entrance on that day will be open. That is behind the press box at Legion Field. Mirage on the carry. As Mirage gets it out to about Steve the 41, where Steve White brought him down as Mirage gets three on the play, third and about four. Third and four. The ball is resting on the 40 yard line. Seven nothing game as for a series for both teams. We'll find out the adjustments as usual that have been made. Stevenson decides to keep. Timmy gets stood up at about the 43. Sean Boney just stood Tim Stevenson up and dropped him. 
There go some of our finalists uh, for homecoming queen, ladies and gentlemen. And the Maroons Just need a yard fast. and a half on fourth down. And we'll see what they decide to do on fourth down. And they will go for it. Big play, fourth and a yard and a half. First down, Weymouth North, Mirage, crossing the 45 to the 46. To Perry Mirage and Cushman on the, the tackle. But Mirage got it to the 46 yard line, and the Maroons gamble and get the first down. They will start on the 46 yard line of Weymouth North. Stevenson. We have a flag on the play. Incomplete. Flag goes incomplete. To Eddie Norton and a marker down. And we'll find out the penalty is, and it probably is on Weymouth North for illegal motion. It will be discussed with Frank Boney, the Rams defensive captain. Motion, Weymouth North declined. Procedure call, refused by Marshall. It'll be second and 10. Second and 10 from the 46 and Weymouth North. Once again, the penalties have been the thing that has slowed this team down. Mirage turns Get the corner. Rich with a marker down. Out of At the 36 and a marker down. But we have a flag back in the 49. And offensive line. coordinator Kevin Carbon to my left. It is going crazy about the call. He didn't feel it was a clip on the play. Clipping call against Weymouth North. And the Rams and Coach Joe Kelly does not believe it. Rams have not been hit with a penalty in this game. Instead of the big run by Mirage, it will be second down on the clip. And the Maroons will need 23 yards for the first down. That's once again a big run, big play, wiped out by the penalty. And it's something Weymouth North has had happen to them as of late. Mirage, option pass, intended for Danny Lindblom, and Danny could not get to the ball as Mirage overthrew. Good coverage on the play by the Rams, Mike Manning, and it'll be third down. And 23. Stevenson. Complete to Montorio at the 44-yard line of Marshfield, and it'll be a first down. Very close. As Stevenson had plenty of time and found the open, Chuck Montorio. We're going to have a measure. And they will measure for it. It is very close, and from the vantage point we have above press box, it is appears to be a first down. But we'll see from the measurement. As Stevenson with the time, Montorio just got himself open and Stevenson connected. First down. Maroons needed 23, they got them. As Weymouth North gets the big play, making up for the Mirage run where they did not get the big yardage in the Marshfield territory. They get most of it back on the penalty, on the pass completion. Mirage, Mirage on the 
Stop by Skates to the Perry. 40 as the Perry brought him down there. As Rich gains four, second and six. Mirage sweep. Gets caught from behind on the carry. No by Fahey and Short. As he gets it back Short to line of scrimmage as Fahey and Short were able to collapse on Mirage. Third down and six still. 6.20 and counting. Left in the third quarter, 7-0 Weymouth North. Third and seven. Stevenson floats it deep. Intercepted Mike Manning in the end zone. As Manning caught the floating pass intended for Danny Lindblom. And the Rams stop the Maroons and will have the football at their 20. So we have an interception. interception. And Nashville will take over. Out on their own so the Rams will Nashville. get their first possession at their own 20 as they stop the Maroons with the Stevenson interception. Straight ahead. Goes Boney, gains about maybe two. It's the right side of the Maroon defensive line was there to close down on Boney, second and eight. Sean Boney on the carry. Rams going to Boney. Brought down by Alex Provost. A lot in this game. Gain of two, it'll be second and eight. Submarine. Ferrara slowed him down and he was submarine. Easy on the carry. Brought down At by the line of, and he lost the yard. Line of scrimmage as nine. Ferrara read the play beautifully and made the tackle third and nine. Ruisi. Third down nine situation before went to Sean B Boney on a Frank Boney that was on a pass play. As Ruisi complete Manning dropped Manning down about the carry. 37. Knocked down by Darren Gladstone. As Gladstone First with a tackle. Down. And the Rams keep possession as Manning came out of the backfield. And got in the seam, seam of the zone and made the catch as Ruisi put it there. Ruisi, quick one over the middle, caught. Picard. To the 45, and Gladstone brings him down. Matt Picard. That's a quick the hitter. He was brought down. Is complete. Gladstone and the Rams are going to the air. He had to start this third quarter with success. As the pass to Manning for 18, and then all the quick pass to Picard. Got it to the Maroon 44. Hugus, nowhere, Henriksen, Tortiglione. Drew Hughes on the carry. I had Brought to make down the stop. Tortiglione. Second and 10. And so far, the Rams have had the better success throwing. 
Maroons have slowed down the running game. Ruisi, bootleg pass. The deep blow, and it's knocked down by Gladstone and Mirage as they had the coverage. Pass broken up by Gladstone. Frank Boney. The pass was intended for And Boney is shaken up. As he has gone down, they'll check on Frank Boney. We'll take a break. Send up nothing. the down. Frank Boney, okay, and it'll be third down and ten. He was helped off, the third off and was able to the move his line. ankle that he apparently hurt well enough. He's being checked at the Marshfield bench. Ruisi gets away from Torleone and comes up short on his attempted pass for Manning. As Manning, open, but Tortellion put on good pressure. And the Rams on fourth and 10. Apparently punt, and now another Ram shaken up. We'll take a break. 2.52 to go in the third quarter. Weymouth North with a 7-0 lead. Fourth down and 10, and the Rams in punt formation. That'll be Luke Short. Stevenson and Mraz await the kick. And short. Stevenson. Gets the corner. Timmy. Stevenson on the run back. Thrown out of bounds. Thrown out of bounds. At about the 31. As Doug Cushman prevented Stevenson from turning the corner. And Stevenson. Gets the play from head coach Joe Kelly as far as what to run on this first down. And the ball will be put into play on the 31 yard line. the option cuts back Rouse on the carry. rich gets about three Brought down by steve white as steve white would not let mirage cut back completely second and seven second down seven to go and now some confusion as far as what the play will be run. Stevenson options, Strasseri makes the catch. Keith turns the corner. Strasseri gets it out to about the 45 as Doug Cushman chased him out. But Strasseri made a nice catch of the football and was able to turn the corner in the sophomore, getting the Maroons a first down. Well, it's set on the 45 yard line. One back at being Mraz. Stevenson cuts back inside. Timmy almost breaking it. Gets rolled by White. By Eddie Brooks. Along with 89, First down. Mark Picard will also get in on the tackle, but Stevenson almost breaking it, does get 11 and a first down, as Timmy this time cutting back inside. Maroons have been able to move the football at spots, but penalties have hurt them, as Mraz, Mraz. stopped at the line of scrimmage. Looks short. Uh, Able to get him from behind, and that's something Short has been able to do very well in this game is get the backside type of pursuit and make the tackles. He, along with Steve White, have been able to do just that.
Stevenson to Norton. Norton makes the reception down to about the 31. The reception. And we'll get the first down as Norton. Sean Barney made the tackle. First just for down. a second, dropped the football, and it was didn't know if it would be ruled a fumble, but they said that Norton was already down on the play. First and 10 from the 30. Henriksen gets about one. Henriksen on the carry. John Barney made the tackle. As Boney made the stop. Two, it'll be second and eight. Second and eight. The ball on the 28 Maybe time line. for one more play here in the third quarter. 19 seconds and counting left. Stevenson, Norton, hook and Latimer Oz! Almost breaking it, and Rich gets it to the 16. The pass went to but Rich Norton. just left, Who just could not get that little For seam on the sideline. This went down as the third and period about ends the quarter. comes to an end. As the Maroons go to the razzle-dazzle to end the third quarter, at halftime, it was 7 0. And we complete three quarters of play. We still have the same score. Weymouth North 7, Marshfield nothing as we head to the fourth quarter. Keeps. Timmy turns the corner. Gets wishbone and scores. Runs it in from the touchdown. Timmy Stevenson. Kept the ball, did not pitch to Rich Moraz. He had the option because both the options were open. And then he was wishbone, literally, at the goal line, and the Maroons increased the lead to 13 to nothing. As Stevenson was lucky in one aspect on that touchdown run that he did not pull a hamstring or a groin muscle. Stevenson does not get the extra point. Right to the left. But the Maroons march 70 yards to increase the lead to 13-0 with 9.52 to go in the fourth quarter. Weymouth North on a 70-yard drive has increased the lead. Potello back deep to receive this kickoff. To 13-0 as Mike Manning and Jeff Potello await the kick from Tim Stevenson. As Stevenson accounting for the final yards of the drive, with us literally almost being propelled into a wishbone as he scored the touchdown. And a line drive kick. Manning. Gets outside to the... On the run back. 41 the yard line Montorio. as Montorio stopped him. Fine run back by Mr. Manning. And the Rams getting the field position that they want from a kickoff to the 41 with 9.42 left. As Manning Montorio almost broke it. Their series of downs on their own 43 yard line. Manning, who has good speed, was almost able to get that one more block if he needed it would have been able to go all the way sprint draw play gains about two feet that is and it's Manning who had the great kickoff return is stopped for about a two-foot gain, second down and nine, coming up for the Rams. Gain of one, second and nine. Yes, Ruizzi, maybe changing up. Bootleg pass. Wide open, short, makes the reception at the 30. Luke Short on the reception. Brought down Luke Short Henderson. was wide open, and Lou First Henriksen down. finally Ball got Luke the Short. Line. And the Rams have been able to come throw that pass where Ruisi 
has been able to find either Luke Short or Frank Boney as his two chief weapons. Short deep over the middle or Boney on the sideline. Ruisi, deep over the middle, intercepted! Rich Marais! Or, check it in, Darren Gladstone! Intercepted by Darren Gladstone. Darren Gladstone with an interception. Raymond Frost. As you can Jason only see the, one of the fours that were on the uniform. Enough to play in the fourth quarter as the safeties both wearing with four on their shirt. Rise 14, Gladstone 44. But it was Darren Gladstone who with his third interception of the year. And a big one, it slows the Rams down. Stevenson just trips and falls. And Short goes over and touches him. On the keeper, trips up. As Timmy. on the play. And trying to turn the corner, just tripped himself. Second and 13. And Stevenson loses three, second and 13. Eight minutes to go. Option. Excellent speed by Morales to turn the corner and Rich. Almost broke it, but Mark Picard Breath was able to knock Manning. him down, down as Picard put the shoulder in the Mirage, but Mirage got that Breath one on step that allowed him to five. excel upfield. And the Maroons take it out of poor field position and improve on it to their 26.